Hi, my name is Maggie and work for the Pirates in the Ticket Office. I'm going to read the counterpart to Princess and Maiden called Prince and Knight. Once upon a time in a kingdom far from here lived a charming prince who was handsome and sincere. His parents knew that soon it would be time he took the throne, but with a kingdom so grand, the prince could not rule alone. So the three of them set out and traveled far and wide on a quest to find the prince a kind and worthy bride. The prince met many ladies, and he made them all swoon, but it was soon clear that he was singing a different tune. Thank you, he told his parents. I appreciate that you tried, but I'm looking for something different and, and a partner by my side. But while the royals were away, their land faced quite a scene, a dragon fast approaching, breathing from a dragon fast approaching, breathing fire everywhere. Um, all the villagers ran in fear, even the soldiers hid and fled. The vicious beast is far too great. We must retreat or we'll be dead. The prince heard the dreadful news and raced home with all his might. To protect his precious realm, the prince was ready for a fight. Alas, before you fear our prince had to face the beast alone, along came on horseback came a knight cloaked in armor that brightly shone. The dragon charged upon our heroes, thinking it had already won, but the knight had a bold idea and raised his shield to face the sun. The glare hit the shining metal, blinding the dragon's fiery eyes, but it was what the prince did next that really caught it by, by surprise. The prince had climbed atop the dragon and tied a rope around its head. He wrapped the cord around the neck and down the body like a thread. The plan had worked. The dragon was caught. The body, its body was tied and bound, but the prince up high had lost his grip and was falling to the ground. The knight below jumped on his horse, and they began to race. The prince was caught and free from harm, held in the knight's embrace. You saved my life, and you saved mine, they said to one another. And in a flash, to each it felt, there simply was no other. The knight took off his helmet to reveal his handsome face. And as they gazed into each other's eyes, their hearts began to race. As the villagers returned, it became clear to those around that the prince's one true love had at last surely been found. The king and queen had come back too and were overwhelmed with joy. We have finally found someone who is perfect for our boy. And on the two men's wedding day, the air filled with cheer and laughter, for the prince and his shining knight would have lived happily ever after. Good fairy tales for our time. Prince and Knight by Daniel Hack.